or call low. And I know the choices will sound obvious, but I want to walk you through them. If you're selling software or tech products, you've got an implementer who's actually going to implement and lead a project that you're working on. If you go sell to these people, what you're often dealing with is pilot projects. I often call this staying below the parapet. It's a phrase that comes from ancient war. The idea is if you keep your head below the parapet, you never get shot. Proponents of the call low strategy like to make a lot of progress and prove the ROI before they expose how much it's going to cost or budgets to senior people. In some ways, it's a play it safe strategy. It's much easier to persuade implementers to actually get your software up and running than to get executive support. This is what I call the call low strategy. Head below the parapet, get implementation, prove it out in pilot projects. There's another approach some people take, which is to start with a sponsor. It might be an SVP, a VP, or a CEO. This is what I call the call high approach, where you talk to executive people who have budgets, and they then call down in the org to get trials. The challenge with call high is often it's hard to get access, it's hard to get intros, and these people are short on attention span. They want to know the economic benefits right away. Calling high exposes you to a lot of politics. You can get your head chopped off before you've even begun. Calling high requires you to be top of your game because you really need to be able to talk about economic benefits. People at high orgs have no time for bullshit. But the huge benefit of calling high is when you get passed down, you're much more likely to have air cover. So calling high provides air cover for you but requires really strong ROI. Both approaches can work. I'm a big proponent of call high. I'm a big, big proponent because you'll find out sometimes there's no budget. Especially at a startup, often you can spin a lot of plates and waste a lot of resources that you don't have on people who do implementation or pilot projects. And you might do pilot projects only to find out there's no executive support or budget. The best way to call high is to get introductions. This is one of the main reasons that I like entrepreneurs to get introduced to me. It's not a form of elitism. I want to see what your skills are, how you get access. Getting access is everything in life. It's a really important business skill. You want to get articles written about your company? You got to get access in the right way to journalists. You want to raise money? Get access. You want to get clients? Get access. You want biz dev? Get access. Want to hire great employees? It's the same thing. The skill is the same set of skills all the way across the patch. And personally, given limited resources at startup companies, I'd much rather get my neck chopped off before I begin than to commit resources at places there's no budget. So I personally am a big proponent of call high. Please note that when you get access to senior execs, they're almost certainly not going to spend time with you on your initiative. They're what's known as a sponsor. They're the person you can go back to from time to time sparingly for air cover. If they want your project to exist, you can ping them if you're getting blocked and say, can you help me please get unstuck? Use them sparingly. Call them as a sign of last resort. If you call them too often, you will lose support. Please note that when you get passed down, sometimes those people are going to be annoyed. They'll see you as having gone above them. So when you turn up, understand there may be a bias against you. You've got to smile, you've got to be likable, and you've got to solve their problems ultimately.